Hi everyone. So let's look at this next question here from the matrix series. Again, a fantastic question, a really high quality question. It will test you some two, three uh, concepts in this question actually. Okay, so let's see this. It says that A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral, and D, A, and C, B are extended to meet at point P outside the circle. Okay, so let's draw this at first. So we'll draw this uh, cyclic quadrilateral here. Okay, so it's a circle. Then two lines are extended to meet. Uh, so basically, the, I I should meet make those two lines like this. Okay, uh, something like this will do the job. So let this lines be uh, this D A uh, and C B right? Let this is B. This is A here. Okay, and this is B. This is C and this is D. So D A and C B. So D A basically means D two A. Okay. So D what D A means? D A means D two A. So D two A is produced here. Okay, and C B basically means C two B. Had it been B C, it means B two C. So B two C means like this side. Okay, this side. That means B. That means B to C. But here it is. It is. It is C B. So C B basically means like this. Okay, C to B. So C to B. I'll extend here, and they're meeting somewhere here. Okay, is they are meeting at basically point P. Correct. Okay. So now uh, tangent draw at points A. Point A meets B P at T. So there's a tangent we draw at point A and it meets BP at T, right? So let's draw this tangent at point A and it meets BP at T. This point I'll put T here. Okay. Uh, it is given that AT is four, so I'll write here. Okay, AT is four, BT is two. This BT is two. This PC is twenty. This is PC here, so I just put this PC as twenty here. Okay. This PC is twenty. This PD is twenty-eight. Okay. Speed here is twenty eight, and uh, AB is eight here. This AB is basically eight. AB is eight, right? We need to find the perimeter of ABCD here. Okay, so we need to find the perimeter of ABCD. Okay. Okay, so we can observe that AT is tangent here. So AT is tangent here, and TC is second here. So I can apply tangent second theorem. That is. T C let's say this uh, B C is X here, so I apply the tangent second theorem. T C into T B is equal to T A square. That is tangent second theorem, right? Notice T C here. So T C is basically two plus X. Now T B is two, and this T A square is sixteen. So this will get cancelled eight times. Therefore X will be equal to six. So I got X is equal to six here. So basically, basically to I need to find the perimeter of A B C D. So I need to find the all the I need to find all these values here. So I got A B A B already eight given. I got B C as six. Now I need to find C D and uh, A D here. Okay. So now how to find this? How to find this C D and A D here? Okay. Now we can observe here that see, uh, this P D and P C are also seconds, right? So P D and P C are also seconds. So I can apply two second theorem here. That is, P A into P D, P A into P D is equal to P C into P B. Correct. So P A is given as so basically P A I don't know. I can take P A as Z. So P A as Z. Now P D here is twenty eight, and P C is basically twenty. Uh, P C is twenty. And what is P B here? So total is twenty. This two plus six is eight. So this must be twelve. Uh, so P T is twelve here. Okay. So in that case, Z will come as twenty to two forty by twenty eight, right? So two forty. Uh, no, not twenty. It's fine. Huh? Two is there. This is two. This is six. This is eight. This whole length is twenty. So P T is twelve. So okay, I want P B here. So P B is basically twelve plus two fourteen, right? Okay. Correct. So twenty eight uh, Z is equal to uh, two and twelve uh, twenty into fourteen is two eighty by twenty eight that is equal to ten. So Z Z comes out to be ten here. Okay. So I got this value of this this value I got as ten. So out of twenty eight I got this as ten. So this must be eighteen, right? So this is eighteen here. So I got this as eighteen. So lastly, I need to calculate C D here. So what is the length of C D? Okay. Now. So we need to find the length of CD here now. Okay, now 
See, observe that now CD is a part of triangle PDC and uh, this is a triangle PAB also here, right? Now it's a cyclic quadrilateral. So this angle will be, let's say this angle is uh, X here. Okay. Or let's say even this angle is, let's say it is uh, some uh, theta here. It is theta. So this in cyclic quadrilateral, this angle also becomes, uh, this is will be 180 minus theta because sum of opposite angles is 180 degree in cyclic quadrilateral. Right? And in that case, this angle will become theta. So in these two triangles, theta and theta is same. And also this alpha will be the common angle. So what I can say is triangle PAB is similar to triangle PDC. So PAB is similar to triangle PDC, right? Achha. So if PAB is similar to PDC, what I can do here? So basically what, what, what is alpha opposite in, in these two triangles? So here alpha opposite is AB, that is eight. And alpha opposite is CD. Okay, so eight upon CD is equal to theta opposite in this triangle is 10. So theta opposite is 10 and theta opposite in this bigger triangle, this is theta. So this is theta portfolio is PC here. This is PC, right? That is 20. So in that case, CD will be come out to be four. So CD will be four here. Okay, sorry, not four, half. So it will be 16 here. So CD will be 16. Okay, so CD is 16. So now what is the perimeter of this ABCD? So perimeter of ABCD is equal to uh, 8 plus 18 plus 16 plus 6. Okay, that is 48. So 48 is the answer for this question. So it is a very good question guys. So you can see that three concepts are used here. One is uh, tangent second theorem, one is two second theorem and one is similarity also. So three concepts in single question, a typical cat level question where they want to test multiple concepts in a single question. Okay and all very basic concepts right so a very beautiful question it is again solve it on your own okay thank you